Hello, my fellow fox cubs. This is Copper Fox bringing you the next episode of the Villain Games. And how are you guys doing today? I am so stoked about this episode. I feel like I haven't played the Villain Games in a really long time. So this should be very fun. So today we have a challenge episode and we are going to have everybody go head to head to claim the reward, which you guys should leave down below once we figure out who's going to get the reward. Please let me know how you think we should reward them in the next episode and how you think we should punish the person that gets punished. So I know in the last episode, a lot of you guys were pretty unhappy that Mother Gothel was the one that died. So I really am sorry, guys. I don't control them. It just happened how it happened and fate decided it was her time. So I am very sorry if that was your favorite character. Um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be bringing her back. Uh, a lot of people said in the comments that they were gonna unsub and I just have to tell you guys I've been doing this for this is the fourth season and I've never brought somebody back from the dead that's not something that we do um, that's just kind of how we run the game so I am sorry if she was your favorite she could still be in the champion round so you can definitely hold out for that um, if you guys vote her in so Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get on with the episode. So everybody is super upset. So let's go ahead and get the moodlets off because that's what we always do is, oh, what did I do wrong? Testing, che oh, I didn't put the S after cheats. Whoops. There we go. So we need to go ahead and get rid of all the sadness moodlets because everybody is very, very, very sad about the death of Mother Gothel, which they very well should be. But like we've done in past episodes, we always get rid of the moodlet because if we don't, we're just going to have Sims crying 24 seven and no one wants to hear that. So let's go ahead and put Peter Penn to work our slave because it looks like he desperately needs to start working on stuff. So we'll have him mop up the puddle. We also need to delete that and we need to delete the stove because they no longer have access to the kitchen. Um, Peter Pan actually has to cook all of the meals and then we will bring them over. So actually, I think after he fixes the sink, I'm going to have him feed everybody and just kind of drop some food in here. Let's see what everybody is up to. It looks like King Candy is just chilling. Uh, Scar is asleep in the bed. Lady Tremaine is also chilling. Captain Hook is stinky and by the bathtub, but not taking a bath for some reason. And it looks like King Candy shooed him to the next room. Oogie Boogie is in a good mood. Again, chillin'. And Gaston is asleep on the couch. So it looks like everybody is kind of taking control of the situation. And they are all trying their best to, I guess, make their stats as best as they can. Um, also, a lot of you guys mentioned, and I would like it if you would let me know in the comment section how you feel about this. Um, a lot of people said that bringing Tinkerbell into the house would be really cool because it would add another female character to the house. I happen to agree with this. I think it would be a really cool addition. Um, we've had multiple slaves on site before the season with Esmeralda. We had two slaves um, because Esmeralda died, <laughs> but we've had a couple slaves before, so I think it would be kind of awesome if we did that. So let me know if you guys want me to create a Tinkerbell slave to add to our house as well. What are you doing? Is that Oogie Boogie? He's recycling. Thanks, Oogie Boogie. Appreciate it, kid. Uh, let's go ahead and have Peter Pan come over here and serve. Oh, seriously, can I do salad instead? There we go. Let's have him do autumn salad just because you really can't mess that up. And this is gonna be his first time cooking. So we really don't want him to mess it up. <laughs> so yeah. Oh no, what is smelly in here? Seriously, something is smelly? Oh, it's this food, okay. I was like, really, is the stove gonna be dirty right now? Um, so yeah, that is what we are doing. Oh, what is he wearing? Are those his Jimmy Jams? He looks weird. Also, sorry if you guys can hear that. There's a helicopter like in the background right now. My window is cracked because it's nice and cool outside. What, what, what are you doing? I asked you to cook and I would like you to feed everybody before they die. I know you just want to go take care of yourself, but you got all your work cut out for you, Peter Pan. This house is a wreck. 
And not only is this house a ginormous wreck. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me pick this up. Not only is the house a ginormous wreck, but there's like stuff broken and that is totally the job of the slave to move it. So I'm just going to plop this right on the floor in here. So anybody that wants some can have some. And yeah, so everybody can eat. Captain Hook, that is not your job. That is Peter Pan's job. And I told him to repair that sink and he did not listen. So he needs to get his Buddha in here. He needs to do that and then I want him to clean house. Get on it, Peter. There we go. What is wrong with you? He like refuses to repair this sink. Why? You will repair this sink. His hygiene is super low. Dude, I'll just boost you. He's the slave. I don't really care if we boost his stats every now and again. Why does he refuse to do this? Like, what is the problem? I'm about to call a repair technician because this is ridiculous. Maybe it's because he was smelly, so he was just pissed. I don't know. It seems like he's doing it now, so we'll have him clean house once he's done with that. And I'm not really sure. Oh, look, Oogie's helping clean up too. How nice. They all seem to be pretty helpful in this house. I can definitely appreciate that. I mean, I guess I could have just deleted the sink because they're not really going to use it. Um, hopefully he'll clean everything. He'll mop and clean the sink and the toilets. And Oogie is still helping. How nice of him. So for today's challenge, we're not going to do painting because we already did that. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these. We're not hurting for cash, so I'm not real worried about uh, selling the painting. Oh, excuse me. I'm not really worried about selling the paintings. So yeah, delete it, delete it. Okay. Um, I really don't know. Maybe we could do like trampolines. That would be kind of fun. We haven't done that in a while. I don't think we've done that actually this season at all yet, trampolines. So we could totally do that if we could get them to fit on the lot. I don't see why not. Whoa. Okay. How many people can jump? Isn't it just like two? Dude, how did we do this before? We have like no room. <laughs> oh, we could put like one right here. Hold on. Let me see. How many people do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we would need like three trampolines. I don't know if we have enough room on our lot for all that. So we're not going to do that. <laughs> um, also because it's kind of hard to get everybody to jump at the same time. Like that's a really hard challenge to make work. It works really well if you only have two Sims, but it doesn't work so well when you have like a boatload. So let's see what else we can do do here there's snowboarding ice skating roller skating ice skating the speedy pole um workbench sculpting station kids clubhouse that's not helpful do 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 i could have everybody oh no 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 dude i've never ever seen this menu before i know what it is but i don't really know how to get out of it so that's that's Hold on. Whoops, a daisies. Hopefully it's not still there. Okay. I don't even know how I did that. Oh, I think I hit that. Um, I have actually never, ever, ever, ever been to that menu before. So that was interesting. Um, let's see. What else is here that's like a good skill? We could have everybody play an instrument. That's one. That I don't even think we've ever done that before. Have we ever done that, guys? Have we ever had people play an instrument until they couldn't anymore? I don't think so. So let's do that. Let's do six. Uh, we can just do six. That'll be kind of fun. I don't think we've ever done that. We Maybe we've done piano before. I don't remember. So we'll do six of these. We need to get everybody, everybody teleported in here. And I remember I give everybody one chance. Um, I do. I give everybody one chance to, uh, no, no. I give everybody one chance to try. Like if it tells me my, the Sim is too tired or too hungry, I will give them tiny boosts so that they can 
uh, hopefully do what they're supposed to. <laughs> and then if they still refuse, remember the first person that refuses or quits is the person that does not that or that gets the punishment in the episode. So or not in this episode, it'd be in the next episode, but you get the idea. Okay, Scar, I'm sorry, bro, but you just gotta wake up. Same with you and you. Okay, everybody else I think is over here. So it's just you guys. All right, we're just waiting on one more. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're waiting on one more person. And I think it's Scar. Come on, Scar, today. T -t today, Junior. Thumbs up if you've seen Billy Madison. <laughs> okay. So we'll start at the top here. We're going to go play alone. Your sim is too hungry to do that right now. Okay, hold on. I don't want anybody to start until we... Until everybody can do it. So we'll give him a minuscule hunger boost. We'll give you a minuscule energy boost because I know you won't do it if you're too tired. We'll give you a minuscule one too. And you. And you. So everybody apparently is just like really tired. Okay. We give everybody teeny, 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 tiny boosts so that they will all play like they are supposed to. Hopefully this works. Play alone, play alone, and play alone. Okay. Everybody, will you please start doing what you're supposed to do? Okay. Wait, did you already quit? He already quit. Scott. He like didn't even, okay. Wait, wait, King Candy, what are you doing? No, he's playing. Okay, so Scar is an automatic out. He literally picked up the thing and then was like, no. And he was able to play. I was able to get him to play, so his bladder does not count. So he's done. Um, everybody else is still rocking out. So let's see how long we can go. So Scar is going to get the punishment next time. So let me know down below how you think he should be punished. And it looks like Captain Hook is now out. Oh, a ghost is visiting. Who's visiting? Hold on, let's, let's go see the ghost really quick while we're waiting here. <gasps> Who is that? Oh, it's the Wicked Queen. Remember that one time, guys, that we had like five different ghosts visit us? It was crazy. Okay, we still have the four of you guys playing. Jamming out. They're all jamming out. Jam sesh. Dang. Oh, and it looks like King Candy is done. So he quit playing. He is done, Zos. We've still got Lady Tremaine, Gaston, and Oogie competing. And it looks like Oogie gave up. So we're down to Lady Tremaine and Gaston. I like these ones because they keep going. Like they don't, even when they level up, they don't stop. And I appreciate that. And it looks like Gaston is our winner. Go you, Gaston. You go, Glen Coco. I feel like, guys, in my office when I move, I'm going to have to get that quote on my wall behind me. You go, Glen Coco. So just say it all the time. Okay, so Gaston's the winner. So let me know down below how you think we should uh, reward him and how we should punish Scar. So I think that that is all fair and worthy. I mean, maybe we could even make them fight because Scar is kind of like Beast. I mean, obviously he's not a beast, but he is like a beast, a beast of the wild. So that would be kind of interesting. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Um, so who... Is that a ghost? Is there a ghost in the bathtub? What the crap? Is that the Wicked Queen? Seriously? She's in the bathtub. You creepo. This is why I don't like bathrooms in real life. Because ghosts hang out in there. And Peter Pan, did you do everything? Did you do everything that was required of you? 
let's let's go take a look at the other house and see how things look um it looks like everything is pretty clean he even put the food out on the table instead of on the floor that was awfully nice of him so there is food if anybody wants it i think it's still yeah it's still normal quality um everybody's just kind of doing their own thing that is how it appears anyways Alrighty. Anyways, guys, I think this is where we're going to cut the episode off. So thank you so very much for joining us or us really. <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to check out my Chloe Taylor channel. There'll be links down below. And at the end of this video, I've been posting a lot more frequently over there. Um, and this next week, I'm going to be doing another tutorial type video where I show you guys how to make thumbnails. So if you need any more help in that department, be sure to tune in. And uh, what else can I tell you guys? Is there anything else new? I will be seeing you guys again on this channel on Friday for the Sims University launch. So that will be big and exciting. So you won't want to miss out on that. And the next round that we do with the villain games will be a death round. So you definitely won't want to miss that. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so very much for watching. This is Copper Fox signing off. Shake it up, shake up the happiness. Wake it up. mermaids it's me chloe taylor and today i have a christmas themed video for you guys a lot of you guys asked to see all of my christmas decorations and basically how i get ready for the holiday season um, as you guys know i celebrate christmas i know some of you may not but maybe you still are festive so if you are then this video is still definitely for you so let's go ahead and swim on into it so the first thing that i always love to do when getting ready for the holiday season is keep holiday scented candles around. This one is my current favorite. It is Bath and Body Works.